friends welcome to my channel ageless learning today we will be learning about ipo that is input process output cycle of a computer so let's get started we will learn about what is data information process and finally what is an ipo cycle look at the numbers in the group a and group b what does group a show group a shows us a set of random numbers which doesn't make any sense how are the numbers of group a divided into two categories in group b so in group b the two categories here are on the right side are even numbers and on the left side are odd numbers let's look into what is data the raw or unorganized facts that needs to be processed are known as data group a which contained random and unorganized set of numbers is known as data what is information when data is processed organized structured or presented in a useful manner it becomes information to us the group b which we have sorted into even and odd is called as information because it is giving us a meaningful data and meaningful data or processed data or organized data is called as information therefore the group a is known as data and group b is information Let's learn some facts about data and information. Data refers to facts while information refers to interpreted facts. Data is based on records and observations while information is based on research. Data lacks meaning while information is meaningful. So when we apply some process to data, we get information. For example, let's see we have numbers 2 and 3. So what are the number 2 and 3? Are they representing anything? No, we don't know what is it. When we apply any process, for example, in our case, we are applying addition here, we will get 5, which is information that after the addition of number 2 and 3, we get 5 as output. Therefore, the input is 2 and 3, which is random numbers, and the process is addition here, and finally, the output which we got is 5, which is information, which is presenting us a meaningful information that 2 and 3 after addition gives us 5. So, the data, when it is processed, it gives us information. Hence, we conclude that Information is what we get from data. Information can be the result of processing data. As we have seen in the previous example, after the processing of data, we got the information. Now that we have learnt about data, process and information, we will quickly have a glance at IPO that is input process output cycle. So, in this cycle, we have a data which is to be processed and finally we will get the information. So, the data will be known as input here and the process which will be applied by CPU of computer that is central processing unit and the process will be stored in the storage device of a computer and finally, after applying the process, we will get the information that is known as the output. Therefore, what we got about this IPO cycle is that data is entered into a computer in the form of instructions by input devices. Instructions are processed by a processing device called the CPU. These can be stored in computer's memory by a storage devices. And finally, the results are given out by output devices, example monitor and printer. Let's have a look at few examples of IPO cycle from daily life. In the first example, we see that a boy is playing with the clay. So the clay here is raw material and it is input. The process is child playing with the clay. 
and finally the output is toys that are made with clay the second example is all about making mango shake in mixer grinder so the input here is mango pulp sugar and milk the process we will apply here is blend it in the mixer grinder and finally we will get the output which is a mango shake and the last example is of making a pizza in microwave so the pizza base with toppings is input or our raw material and the process is baking the pizza in microwave and finally the output we will get is hot and yummy pizza I hope you like this video please don't forget to like share this video and subscribe to my channel thank you you can also leave your comments in the comment section below till then bye bye stay home stay safe